Are we back? Hi! Hi, everybody. Okay. So, I just did, like, a full restart of everything. Uh, there's a really good chance that it didn't fix it. In fact, I'd be baffled if it did. Um, but, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do everything we can. And that's exactly what I did. So, anyway. Um, let's go ahead and keep playing. Welcome to the Outward Tutorial. Follow the red line to learn about the game's mechanics. You can bypass parts of the tutorial by not following the red line. Okay. Well, I can tell you it's pretty so far. I like the look of this. Head down to learn about basic combat. Let's learn about basic combat. I like this red line. This is cool. Ooh. Press tab to lock your camera on an enemy, allowing to, you to hit it more easily. Press tab again to remove the lock. Okay. Super cool. All right. Uh, so we can move left and right. We can move forward and back. Can we dodge? Okay, Q does an ability that I don't have. Oh, look at all these abilities that I have. What's this? One. Rage boon required. I don't know what that means. Two. Oh, okay, I just enraged. Okay, now can I one? Oh, nice. Okay. So I had to be raging to use my one ability. What about three? Did I just set him on? Oh, I think I just gave myself a fire buff? Dude, what is this stuff doing? What, what are, what? Oh, here's our equipment window. Nice. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, this is our needs window. Food, drink, sleep, temperature. Okay. Our effects. Rage, which adds 25% weapon impact. Cool. Oh, crafting. Okay. Okay. Looks like a pretty deep crafting system. Quick slot. Skills. Sigil of Fire. Create a magic circle on the ground. Certain skills have additional effects when cast within this circle. Okay, that sounds awesome. Grants the Rage Boon, which increases your impact of your attacks. Use the skill burns a bit of your maximum health until you the next time you sleep. Oh, interesting. Predator Leap. Required Rage Boon melee weapon. Jumping attack that creates a shockwave upon landing. With a high impact and damage requires the Rage Boon. And then Spark. Tiny fire explosion that deals negligible damage but can be used in combination with other spells for greater effect. Oh, wait. So, okay. Oh, but I can't. Can I not cast that? Oh, I can. Oh, I can't cast the fire circle. Why can't I cast the fire circle? Fire stone is required. Oh. Man. Okay. Woo! All right. To perform attacks with the left mouse button, a special attack with mouse button three... The number of attacks you make before making a special attack will change which strike you make. So wait, if I do... Okay, that was one attack and middle mouse button. Here's two. Okay, that one I think went the, went the other way. One, two, three, finish it. Oh, they seem to be doing the same thing. One, two, three, four, finish it. That seems to be doing the same thing. Maybe I didn't read that right. Four, five, and do it? Yeah, it seems to be doing the same thing over and over. Which is a little like that, right? Oh, no, look at that. Okay. So if we just hit the button, it's a it's like a jab. But then if we swing and hit it, it's like a side swipe. Cool. Okay. That's kind of fun. Is it really quiet? Oh, there is some music. There's, there's like some ambience. But it is really quiet. Do I have a different weapon? No. Block with right mouse button prevents the damage from a strike and reduces how much you would be knocked back. Shields consume less stamina when blocking and can block arrows. Did I lose health from that? No, I only lose stamina. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, 
Ooh, I'm fat rolling because I got a backpack on. Let's try picking up the shield. Okay. Evade attacks by dodging with space, though this consumes a fair amount of stamina. You can also move away from attacks by holding left shift to sprint. Oh, are there no iframes? Okay, it does not look like there's iframes when dodging. Let me try again. Yeah, I think it's a physical dodge, not an iframes dodge. And apparently I can hit the B key to then, what, drop my backpack? Yeah, there- oh god, I'm so much faster. What are iframes? Iframes are invincibility frames, and they were popularized in Dark Souls, or Demon Souls, really. And what an iframe is, is it's when you're dodging, there are certain frames of your dodge where it does not matter if you get hit or not, because you are invincible. Iframes. Invincible frames. So, it, whenever there's a dodge mechanic, you can... If, if, if basically, if I do this, and at any point if an enemy weapon contacts with me, I get hit, then I don't have iframes. Um, and well, invincibility frames, invulnerability frames, whatever you want to call them. That's fine. Oh, and apparently, okay, well, apparently they didn't start in Demon Souls. Wherever they started, I, I learned about them in, in, uh, Dark Souls. But they were probably popular way before them. I should have said my first experience with iframes was in Dark Souls. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's basically like just saying that, um, there is a portion of your dodge where it doesn't matter if you get hit. And yeah, like someone's pointing out in chat, I think there's actually, I mean, arguably... There were iframes in Nintendo games. Um, when you would get hit in Metroid, then you would flash for a while. And those were essentially iframes, because then you couldn't get hit again. So, yeah, iframes have been around for a long time. Frames in which you cannot be damaged. Plain Wolf says, I started iframes. Oh, you did? Oh, how cool. That's, that's awesome. I didn't know the guy that started iframes was in chat right now. That's fantastic. How fun. Oh, my backpack. I should, I should, oh god, how many times am I going to forget my backpack in this game? Oh jeez. Oh god. <laughs> this is a problem. Because <laughs> we all know I'm super good at remembering things. Proceed up the stairs to learn about skills. Okay. To assign skills or items to quick slots, open the menu with I, then select the quick slot tab and assign them there. Okay. So we can put items or skills on those. Cool. First, put the spark and fire sigil skills in your quick slot. Be certain to have fire stones in your inventory. Create a fire sigil and then spark while standing on the sigil. Okay. Astral potions. That sounds fun. And fire stones. Okay, most spells require items in your inventory or an effect active on you. Take some fire stones on the table so you can then cast fire sigils. Take astral potions to replenish your mana. Yo, that is cool. I like it. Boom. That's an interesting system. That is an interesting system. I wonder I wonder how this is going to develop. Physical skills often require you to wield a specific weapon type or have a status effect active on you, such as Rage Boon. Oh! Oh, look at all these weapons! Dude. 
Oh, we gotta find us a spear, boys. Oh, there's bows. Why did I, th I didn't think there were bows in this game? Are there arrow requirements? Yeah, we have no arrows. Uh, arrows, arrows, arrows. Oh, look at that mace. Can we get that mace? Where are my arrows? I'm probably just being a dingus. Uh... Hey, Ymax77. Hey, Code. Thanks for all the good vibes and great content. Congrats on the new arrival. And here's to many more years of good vibes. All the best from Australia. Well, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I didn't loot the mob that I killed. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Arrows on the table. Oh, there are the arrows. Jeez, they're right in front of me. Okay, let's see how this works. Hold down mouse button. Okay. I like the feel. Okay, so if I were to do this... Uh, oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, this is cool. Mm -hmm. When does this game come out? In like half an hour. Yeah, the uh, I actually ended up uh, getting connected with the head of the studio that makes this game. He actually uh, personally provided me a key, which was super nice of him. And um, yeah, we, we, we are playing about an hour early. The game comes out in like 30 minutes. Use this elevator to reach the section on negative status effects. I kind of just want to start playing. Uh, holy shit. Thank you for the great content. And you're always positive. Great vibes to your family. Well, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Status effects are displayed in the bottom left of your screen. Removing negative effects is important between battles. For example, bleeding deals damage over time and is healed with bandages. Okay, and I guess that's poison and stuff. Antidote, bandages. Okay, cool. Let's take some of this. Just in case. Uh, Diddly Radar, nobody knows how Article 13 is going to affect anything as of now. Basically, it's like framework legislation, and now, like, the actual legislation will probably start coming through at some point. But I, I live in the U.S. I'm not the best person to talk to about this stuff. There are people that are much more versed about it than me. All right, that was a food and drink thing. What's this? Appease your uh, thirst and hunger, or you will pass out. Animals and plants provide food while bodies of water can quench your thirst, so you will need a water skin to carry water with you. Okay. There's some water skins. Hold F to drink clean water. We got a hydration bonus. Gather clean water. Is that actually filling up the water skins? Oh, yeah, look at that. Cool. Okay, great. Soothing tea? I'll take some soothing tea. Cook your meat and boil your water so you don't become ill. It takes a long time to recover from illness, though medicinal teas can help. Okay. To cook in the wild, you must craft campfire kits. Gather three wood from the nearby tree. Enter the menu with I. Go to the crafting tab and select campfire kit. Gather three wood from the tree. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Get your inventory and use it and then display campfire on the ground. Okay. So let's craft it first. Uh, oh, I can craft a quarter staff. That's kind of cool. Campfire kit. T to craft. There we go. Go to our inventory. Hmm. Cool. I don't really have any meat to put on it. What's this? Cooking pot. Can I put a cooking pot on it? No. Um, what do I do with a cooking pot? Heavy pot that enables the preparation of recipes with more than one ingredient to be used on a lit campfire. Oh, look at that! You can just place it! Oh, that's cool. Boop. Uh, 
open corpse. Delicious. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, meat stew. I need a I need a vegetable and salt. Is seaweed a vegetable? Nope. Um what's a travel ration? Oh, let's make that. Cool. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. Where does it show my food? Oh, there it is. Cool. Okay, let's keep moving. Code, did you see the super update to Bard's Tale? No, I didn't. I did not. Cooking with a single ingredient only requires a lit campfire. Recipes and multiple ingredients require a kitchen or a cooking pot deployed on a fire. Okay, cool. Proceed down to learn about managing your temperature in extreme climates. Oh my lord, dude. This game just keeps getting like deeper and deeper as we move through the tutorial. In hot climates, drink water and wear clothing tailored to your pro to protect against the sun. Heavy armor is rarely protect against the heat, though. Okay. I'm just going to kind of run through these areas. I'm not going to, like, do all this stuff. In cold climates, campfires and torches can warm you up. Padded or fur-lined clothes also protect against the cold. Okay, cool. I'm not going to take this stuff. I'm 90% I'm sure we're going to start a new character here in a second, so I'm not really worried about, like, collecting all the items and stuff. Other items can help manage your temperature, such as potions, tents, or meals. Okay. Proceed to learn about managing your inventory capacity. This I probably need to learn about. Lanterns in your backpack and not in your pouch are hung from your backpack, freeing your offhand for a shield or a two-hand weapon. Open and close lanterns with V. Oh, dude. Whoa! Wolf Claymore? Time out. What? Dude. <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. Backpacks increase your inventory capacity, but you should slow down your dodge. You can drop your pack with B before combat, and then pick it up when the fight is ended. Oh my god, look how heavy it hits! Oh, it's just chunking his stuff. To oh my god. Wow. Take machete. Loot bandit. Okay, that was awesome. Pick up our backpack. Even with a backpack, you cannot take all the items you will find. Equipment is quite heavy and coin... Even coins have weight? Oh, you bag of rude. Equipment breaks during combat, becoming less effective. Lanterns burn out when they're lit and can be refilled using crafting. Food rots with time, even when you're resting or traveling to another region. Ah! Uh, oh, God. I don't know about this. Ah! It's so much money and I can't take it! Wolf plate helm? Oh, I'm super overweight now. Oh my god. Look at this stuff! That looks so cool! I can't even move, but I look really good not moving. Where's my weight? Oh, here it is. 52 of 50. Okay, so let's drop you. Okay, now we can move again, right? Cool. Whoa. Cool. 
Okay, I okay. I am now sold on these mechanics. Let's go play the game. I'm ready to start the game. What how, what 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 else could I possibly need to know at this point? Resting. Okay, sleep another character. Okay, well, probably good to know how to get rest. What are these? Oh, tents. After you finish resting, enemies can ambush you. Guarding lowers the chance that this occurs. When you dis where you decide to rest, also how likely it is you will be attacked is how likely. Okay. Sleeping either in an inner tent removes tiredness and restores health. It also restores maximum health, which is lowered by taking damage. Okay. Repairing restores the durability of your armor and weapons. Okay. Wait, wait. Note that only your currently equipped items will be repaired. Oh, good to know. Okay. Use it or actually, yeah, nice. We did it, boys. Tutorial slayed. Okay. Boop. What's my name? My name's Ko. I'm a male. I am an Aurelian or or a or a Orion. Orion. I look like that, I guess. Okay. Um, we got the man bun going on. The dreads, the naughty dreads, the cornrows, the what the. F okay. I do kind of like that hair. In fact, I kind of want to do this now. Um, it looks like someone just plopped an onion on my head. Um, this, I think right, right here, mark my words for streamers playing outward. I bet you this is going to be the streamer hair. This is going to be the streamer hair. I can only imagine the amount of streamers that are going to see that and be like, oh my God, that's it. Uh, we'll do, that's like, that's like almost like a cloud look to it. That's a total Final Fantasy do right there. That or serious bedhead. Uh, I think that looks good. That's, that's fine. We could white wolf it. Should we bring the Witcher to the series? <laughs> Dude, we should totally do it. <laughs> name myself Geralt. And just, and, and just, this is, we'll just name myself Geralt, and this is Witcher 4. Um, there we go. We'll, 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 we'll role play Witcher 4. Oh, thanks, Chad. You got it. Okay. Um, okay. Legacy? Oh, when a character dies, we can... The legacy is Jim? Who's Jim? Oh, Jim was the guy that I made to, to make sure my graphics worked. Oh, weird. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. That's that's wild. Jim's like the default name. Is this game good? I, I have no idea yet. It, it seems... It, it has all the makings of something very good, but we have to see if it's buggy. We have to see how engaging the world is. We need to see if there's something that kind of like keeps us moving forward, like in Kenshi. Um, but I will say that, that this is... It clearly looks relatively well fleshed out in terms of mechanics, so... Oh! All my life, I've lived within the safety of Serzo, spared by the brutality of the world outside. But life in Ori is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We've paid the debt caused by her actions ever since. I joined an expedition across the sea with my old friend Yazan, hoping the money I made there would be enough to clear my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. Now I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the wild, untamed land outside the walls. I must carve out my own future or die trying. Cool. Oh. Oh, we like just crashed. <laughs> okay. That was uh All right then. Oh, torch. 
Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Up. Oh. Can I loot you? I can't loot you. Oh, that's unfortunate. Get another torch. Give me some gab berries. Oh. Tattered attire. Okay. Seaweed. Where am I? Oh. Okay, that, that's my map, apparently. Nice. What happened to Sekiro? Nothing. I just really wanted to play this game, and it just came out. We will continue Sekiro soon. Ooh. Drink clean water. Water skin is required to gather. Cool. I'm liking these shell things. Those look pretty fly. Oh, there's something. What's my one key do? Krakow! It's like a little front kick. Oh, what's up, my man? Oh, you're dead. Oh, are you all dead? What are you, what, what's going on here? Take the bread. Yoink. What's up, my man? Oh, it's a Yazan. This is our friend. Hey there. Ko, you're alive. You must be freezing. Come, warm up by the fire before you freeze to death. Where are we, Yazan? The last thing I remember was our ship hitting a rock. We're not far from home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? Eto made it out, too. He's making his way home to Sierzo to go get help. Eto made it out alive, too? Thanks a lot. Thank a lot. I guess that's the god. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. This probably isn't the first time he has to survive a shipwreck. Okay. Not really digging the half voice acted stuff. Um, not really liking this. I hope this isn't a thing. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bed rolls. Okay. If you're still feeling too injured from the shipwreck, go ahead and sleep in one of the bed rolls. Uh, I laid out, and I'll keep watch for Edo and rescuers. It's like they recorded the voice lines and then decided to go back and add more dialogue. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to sleep here. Use improvised bedroll. When can we play this? Uh, we, you, you can play this in 10 minutes. It comes out in 10 minutes. It's on Steam and... Uh, well, it's on Steam. Uh, so. uh, let's do an hour of sleep. I don't really need anything. Oh, I need the fire. No, the fire's already going, so we're fine. Oh, it came out of midnight at console. Oh, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't need to do anything here. That's good. Let's just, like, sleep for... I mean, do I need sleep? Oh, not, not really. I'll, I'll, like, take a nap. There we go. I'll take a nap. Okay. Torch in hand. I'll take a nap. That's right. Unconsciousness comes quickly, and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You're back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse in Sierzo. Yazan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. Oh, okay, so we're home. I apparently don't sleep in the bed. That's okay, though. Uh, hey, Captain Finks with the 20 gift bomb. My dude. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Green worker attire and worker boots. Nice. Looking good. 